In many ways, one of those memorable wars in US, United States history is related to sibling rivalry or feuding neighbors. Brothers and sisters holding tantrums against each other or adult neighbors arguing with each other is very much like the Civil War. Slavery in the Civil War was similar to siblings fighting over pizza. What percent of the pizza will be cheese, which will be pepperoni, etc. This is much like the different compromises made by the North and South for slavery being in certain states and not in others. These compromises include the Kansas-Nebraska Act or even the Missouri Compromise. How much slavery will be here and how much there? The different points of view on how the North and South are like those of rivaling siblings. Like most siblings, the North and South both believe that their ideas were best. Nearly all the time, the main reason for fighting is because of their different points of view. The North thought the South was foolish to think that slavery is best and believed Southerners were cold-heartedly evil, while the North depended on it to live. This resembles the views of kids, such as brothers loving to watch sports, while sisters feel they are unnecessary. A major difference between the North and the South is their geographical differences. The North is windy and cold in the winter, though hot in the summer, with, tall, with the tons of tall, towering mountains. On the other hand, the South is warm all year long with flat lands great for farming. The environmental differences led to other differences in their diverse economy and way of life. This is also the same with neighbors. All houses are not the same. Some may be on different types of land and have different diverse features. This leads to different views and different ways of life. One of the first battles in the Civil War was the Battle of Fort Sumter. The Battle of Fort Sumter was also very much like two siblings fighting. The battle at Fort Sumter is what started the Civil War. In a fight between two brothers and sisters, there's always one person who starts the fight. The shooting of Fort Sumter is like an insult on one sibling, which starts the war. The end of the Civil War made a big impact on the United States. First of all, the United States was one country once more. And there was no more slavery, no more cruelty. States had at last had rights. It's not only the government or the president or the Congress making all the decisions, but we, the states, have a say. We have rights. Though Africans are free, it's not the end yet. The war just helps slavery, though the torture for some would not stop. After the Civil War was over, all was still not well. Everything that had been destroyed by the war had to be rebuilt, including the government in the South. Laws were passed to give equal rights to blacks, but blacks continued to be treated differently. When the war ended, there was much to be done. The South had to rebuild houses, building farms and stores, while the middle of the North had been destroyed. The former slave owners now had to let blacks vote, run for office, and learn that blacks are the same as them. The new country was beginning to reconstruct itself, but it was not easy. After the Civil War, it took over 100 years for blacks to have the same equal rights as whites. Three amendments to the U.S. Constitution help blacks have the same opportunities as whites and have the same right to vote. The Reconstruction Acts were also part of this fight. These made the South give blacks their political rights. This is all very much like civil rivalry. After a big fight, it may take a little while for things to be back to normal, and sometimes not everyone will be forgiving. But in the end, they know it will all work out, and soon they will be united.